everyone, this is Fanblock3 bringing you Pokemon Conquest. Last episode, we, I guess we just trained. We got a new person, which was Daramaka. I think I'm ready to take them on. The world of Greenleaf uses grass Pokemon. That means our fire types should shine. One types will be in for a long, hard battle, though. Yes. I just march from here. There we go. Now I know we're ready. I shall not surrender. My will to succeed is unshakable. Hit the wrong button, alright. Mason's army has appeared in Greenleaf, I guess. Awesome for us. The kingdom of Greenleaf. Huh. You're the new warlord of Aurora, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you, but I didn't expect you to be this young. I suppose you need a bit of youthful energy in this rough old world. Maybe it's time for my generation to call it a day. Or more than I, I can say such a thing. Our army would fall apart without your wisdom, or more than I. No rest for the wicked, eh? I suppose I better do what's expected of me. And kick ass. As you can probably see, this could be a really good fight. I'll show you what I'm made of. There we go. Give our guests a cordial welcome. We're all in the thirties now. What do you think it takes to win battles, Mason? You're thinking strength, right? But strength alone is not enough. You understand what I'm saying? Doing battle is not just about defeating your enemies. Stop on top of a banner to claim that banner for Mason's army. And while the banners and victory is yours. I'll have my EVO for the one way over here. Charmander and Dynamaka can just take it up front. Try us, they're better, but it seems to still work. Really? So we're splitting up and going after those banners, right? Alright, Lord Mason, we won't let you down. I have a feeling I'm reclaiming that pretty fast. Okay, let's get started. Oh no. Okay, never mind, that's actually kind of good. That works to our advantage. There's one out of three. Oh, cool. It's kind of good. I'll put Darmaka over here, but he won't help with Charmander. Charmander could probably handle himself. I knew this was coming.
Oh, the plan's going away. Grass upper actually kind of so so for me. I mean, they. A lot of them have good designs. And the fact that they can tackle water, which is my least favorite, just because of the times when you have to go and go through the water areas using surf, dive, waterfall, and of course meeting the same Pokemon over and over and over. Look at you, Tentacool. I'm sure everyone knows how I feel when I say that Tentacool is probably one of the most used Pokemon for water areas. Flight. Well, alright, so it's completely restored when we just stop on it. I have a feeling we will lose it if we. Okay, now. Three versus two. It's really fair. But they don't see this coming. Oh. Really? Still the. Well, Jago Fox can just come over to our side then, where we're having a little bit of trouble. Pokemon Eevee, looks like you two have grown fairly close. Hey, by the way, I know that there's some faraway world where people put Pokemon in these little balls and carry them around. Pretty strange, no? Now why don't I read that? Guess peaceful days where I can get just focus. Bleh. I guess the peaceful days when I can just focus on Pokemon research are still a long way away. It's kind of awesome not to the actual series. Oh dear, we seem to be struggling. No, you <laughs> seem to be struggling. Ah, oh, they just want to go. This battlefield is a very symbol of our fair kingdom of Greenleaf. We who man grass that one shall not be defeated here. Unless we burn the entire place down and replace it with ashes. So the place looks like Silent Hill. Um, I don't know who to go for. I want to say just focus on Snivy. I don't know what I'm doing. That's all I'll do. I'll take out their Snivy first. What an eyes out. Oh dear. Looks like you were too good for me. Because we killed you first. <laughs> 83. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got that right. 83. It is even more. 86. Yours is so g good. I definitely can't beat you. Almost the favorite grass type Pokemon. They'd have to be designed probably to use in wise. Roserade. What do you want of them? I almost lost that one. Um, Rose Ray has got to be one of my favorites. Um, 
Venusaur. Um, God. Well, I thought I was just thinking about it. I completely lose the train of thought. Try a lot. I just can't remember my favorite ones. I'm trying not to confuse it with bug. Um. God, what is it? Not gloom. Not vile plume. The other one. Oh, uh, brelum. Uh, that's way off subject. Mainly because Brelum's a grass fighting. Awesome. I don't want to say that. The. Is it the. Vir the Verizian? Yeah. The. Grass fighting legendary. Lion, I guess. That one would be. One if it wasn't already Uber. Oh, my like Leafeon. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be the one that I choose. How many choosing Glaceon as my. main. as the evolution? Because I know you can evolve. You just have to do certain th events. In order to do it. Like the obvious of the... Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon having a stone. Which I'm assuming you can either buy from the store or get through events. Really good trap. I would probably choose Umbreon just because Umbreon's awesome, but Fighter Dark Types probably a bad choice. How many traps are there? Well, I only got a way just because. I'm gonna have Charmander run up there and get a quick hit in. Man, I love how it's take banners, but I'm really doing this beating the living crap out of them and then taking the banners. There you go. Wow, you're quite a fighter, aren't you? I can't hope to compete. How I knew was gonna get Glaceon. Lavaluchi and her Joey Puff get the last banner. We've taken Greenleaf. And victory is ours! Awesome. Okay! Seems that our Charmander has gotten the most percentage toward their link. As I went from 69 to 96 to complete flip flop. Awesome, their moves are strengthened. And now we can recruit everyone but their leader. So that's actually kind of cool. I knew the day would finally come when I'd face defeat on my own battlefield. How could you see that coming? You're just, just waiting for someone to 
come by and utterly destroy you. Surely now I can be left in peace. You're a more worthy warlord for being with an I, Mason. I ask only that you would take good care of my beloved kingdom. So he's just up and leaving. And we can recruit all three of them. Yep. They're your slaves or something instead of the usual beat trainer gain money or well, beat them up and then take their money now this is beat them up and then take their people um I guess we now go back to Aurora well, that's not a good idea but you can go back to Ignis Awesome though we we did it we got another one and it's awesome that our the Charmander got like like twenty strength. Fontaine's already feeling the heat now. You know Fontaine's personal looks kind of cool like their warlord. I'm going here because it looks like there's something in here. No, no, no. I, I just want. Enter. Oh, it's the gold mine for m mining some gold. Um. Fuck. Alright, we already got the three that we would probably need. It's just a, a low level. So I still want to hear and train them up. Ravine, because they have more. I mean, it's probably going to be a bad choice because it's. Grass versus flying. But who cares? I'm sure we will win. Pan Sage and Sea Waddle. I'm gonna let, oh, okay, they don't, I didn't do that. I didn't want to think they'd do and just swarm that guy. Instead of we get lucky and they don't have something like Gust or Peck or something. So lucky us. Critical hit. Awesome. Are I scared or something? <laughs> it's pretty easy. I mean, what I'm trying to do is kind of train up because it looked like Fontaines were in the 90s to early 100s. And These people aren't really close to that at all. They're in the probably 80s. Maybe if back in the hundreds, it'd be a better choice to have them help. Uh, sorry, man. South awesome. It became Salad Snake there. Really, Takamoto? Sea Wobble that can't do shit. Ah. 
I'll march my guy back up. Wait, what am I doing? It seems almost wise to send them here. One more training session. Oh, he's the grass cult guy. He's the guy that can up his defense. How crazy. Ow, I guess. All by. Awesome. Eight, nine, sixteen, nine. That was a one hit, pretty much. Awesome. That, that, that's pretty good. I don't want to underestimate this. At least Fontaine won't try and go right for us. I'll send... No. I'll send our lovable Charmander to... One more training. Them. They need it more. Um, we can... Yeah, let's take on the farm. Alright, let's get going. This ought to be pretty easy. I mean, like the same fight as last time, but better. Okay, good. Start on right for our ch lovable Charmander. I forgot to talk about fire types when we did the fire thing. I guess since we have a little bit of time, I can talk about my favorite fire types. The sense. The gold, silver, crystal games, Generation 2 were the first games that I actually really played. I mean, sure I played Pokemon Yellow. That was like a childhood dream. When I first heard about it, when it first came out, I was like, I get it. But now, let's see, Typhlosion of course. So many good memories of Typhlosion. You've got... Of course, Heatran. Um... Magby, Magmar. I mean, I'm not saying those are my favorite, but... Those would be some good candidates for my favorites. Because... I love... Magmar. What's my all time favorite though? Uh, hmm. I what that could be. Could possibly be Blaziken. Because I can remember going through and owning Elite Four several times.
pretty much that's it. Okay, I'm gonna last talk about for the water though. But I am afraid I'm gonna have to end it here, so drop a like, comment on the video, subscribe. Hope you had a good time watching. See ya.